All right, there we go. That's called a countdown clock. And we are just five days, <laughs> Thank you. two hours, okay. and a few minutes uh -huh. until the Ohio State Buckeyes kick off the football season against Buffalo in a very warm shoe that day. Oh, uh, yeah. 90 some degrees, but who cares? Because it's Buckeye football time. And Ben's with us ready. is right here there the newest go. quarterback. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where'd he go? Craig Krenzel and Justin Zwick are here, former OSU quarterbacks, and they have something to tell us about. If you are a Big Ten fan, you're going to love something called Huddle Pass. Tell us about it, guys. Uh, well, Huddle Pass uh, basically is something that some guys from Northwestern created. Um, uh -huh. And it's basically just an online site for fans to go to and, you know, get their fix from football and get their fix about football, you know, what's going on in the Big Ten. But they had a little twist to it that they were going to have former athletes, former guys who had played and been – you know, in the shoe or, you know, on that field, mm -hmm. um, giving that insight. So, you know, with Craig and I, uh, Matt Finkus, um, Bobby Carpenter, Doug Daddish, you know, that's our Ohio State huddle. Right. And, uh, you know, we're getting on the site, writing about, you know, writing features each week. And, you know, once the games start going, we'll be studying film and, you know, just kind of breaking down some things for the fans. So you they can come on. something and, about it, I'd well, yeah, say. And exactly, it's, well, yeah, exactly. It's cute that they pretend that these other teams, like, matter, too, with their huddles. <laughs> but, I mean, Craig, obviously, you know, you talk about, like, 2002 season. Do you keep in touch with those guys? We do. We do. I think, uh, you know, it's the one thing that you take away from, from being a Buckeye is it's just all about the people. And, you yeah. know, you stay in touch with as many. Uh, you know, we were uh, – we're getting a little bit older now, so a lot of the guys are done playing football for the longest time, though. Was, you know, a good group of those guys were still playing football in the NFL. And mm -hmm. you know, last year we had a reunion to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the national title team. So it was, a, uh, um, it was a good time to get everybody back together. And, you know, we talked at that meeting about trying to, to continue to make sure we have a chance to, you know, every, whether it's annually or every couple of years or whatever, make sure we have an event like that. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're involved in the Huddle Pass experience here, do you have to be a real football person to get on and enjoy it or someone who's just casual can you enjoy it or is this for the fanatical fan? well no it'll be i mean it'll be for for the casual fan and mm -hmm. the you know okay. there's going to be components it won't of the be website over my there. head is what i'm asking no, well, no. you, you can get on and you can post a question and craig myself you know one of the other guys can come on and answer that for you so if you have a simple question about why you know the punter always holds for the kicker or this or you know just something mm -hmm. silly you know yeah. we can come on you can ask that question and you know we can come on and interact with uh, with you and we're it. looking at like the you know the ohio state football huddle right here so mm -hmm. justin i mean when it comes to like the insight the unique insight that you guys can give when we're looking at this upcoming season who is a player that maybe comes to mind to you that we really got to keep an eye on this season well i i think uh a couple guys you got washington and noah spence on the defensive line yeah, everybody's talking about how, how we lost some guys up front there and you know, who's going to replace them? I think those are a couple guys that are some someone to keep an eye on as mm -hmm. the season starts. Um, you know, we're going to need them to step up, and, and they're they're young, but they're talented. So we're right. looking forward to them getting out there and getting their feet wet. And then there's that whole. I mean, when you talk about predictions too, you know, we had the cover of Sports Illustrated it just came out a few weeks ago. What do you think? Uh, hopefully the jinx doesn't hurt us this yeah. year. <laughs> the Sports right. Illustrated jinx. Yeah, it's it's going to be a. It's definitely going to be a fun season. Um, you know, this is a team that's. Uh, Obviously, Urban Meyer uh, knows mm -hmm. how to recruit. He knows how to coach. We have one of the finest staffs in the country. Um, it's going to be fun to watch, uh, like Justin has said, on the defensive front seven, who's going to step up and fill in. Right. Uh, you know, some of these freshmen that are coming on the offensive side of the ball that are doing some really nice things in camp. It's going to, I'm excited to see them take the field this Saturday. Yeah, uh -huh. we'll be fun. Now, is Huddle Pass a pay service? I want to nope. ask that. Huddle too. Pass is free to That's the fans, awesome. so you can get on and, uh, you know, it's, it's open to everybody. So we're hoping to get a lot, of, a lot of people on, a lot of interaction with the fans and, uh, you know, share some of our insights, some of the stories that we have from, from back in the day when we were playing. I was going to say, when it comes to that back in the day, do you just, do you watch the games and just, just resist that urge to run down and grab a helmet and just run on the field. Well, that's the only time I that's the, that's the no only, here. See, that's, the only, that's the only time I ever really kind of miss it because the practice and camp and all that stuff. Oh, right, right. Game day is being down in the shoe, you know, playing. You know, you, you miss that kind of thing, but uh, Can you watch it though just casually or do you get so involved? It's got to be a whole different way to watch football. Mm -hmm. It's it's different for me. I don't know about it's, Craig. It's different. I always tell people I kind of liken it to the, the movie The Matrix where you know, <laughs> once you once you've played football and you studied yeah. And you've watched, you know, the thousands of hours of film that we watched. Mm -hmm. You're no longer just watching a football game. Mm -hmm. You know, all we see is the little green letters going down the screen because it's all just X's and O's. Yeah. You know, so you, you get involved, not, not just emotionally uh, because of our tie, you mm -hmm. know, to the program, uh, but just also from a football standpoint, you view the game completely When they different. score a touchdown, we 
don't jump up and down. We say, all right, it worked because of this. You know, oh, so, all right. so it's kind of like you know we're, we're excited, yeah. but it's like, all right, well that that play did work. You know, the cover two stage came down. We hit him over the top. You know, something like that. So or wow, we got really lucky. Oh right yeah, now. or yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, one or the other. That shouldn't have worked, and it did. Much, <laughs> much, give much us your the prediction. same way we watch the news. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So give us your prediction. Are they going to go? Do you think undefeated? Well, you know, I think the the why we all love college football so much is who knows the answer to that yeah. question. Yeah. I mean, yeah. on paper. Uh, when you look at the schedule, right. uh, when you look at the teams we're going to play, when you look at the matchups and where we're playing them, um, when you look at the talent, uh, I, I don't see any reason why this football team shouldn't be undefeated. But, mm -hmm. I mean, we watch year in and year out. I mean, college football is such a tricky animal. That's why we, we all love it so much. It's so fun. It's so exciting. Uh, I mean, right now, if you're asking me, will they be undefeated? Obviously, who knows? I think they should be, and I think there's a very good chance that, that, that we'll win it's, the Big it's, Ten It's always tough to go undefeated. You have a lot, have a lot of breaks go your way, like right. we saw last year, even back when Craig was a junior and went undefeated and won national championship. A lot of things had to go our way, you know, at the end of some games to, to, to get that undefeated season. So hopefully the ball continues to bounce our way. When you have nobody in the top 15, though, and you go undefeated, what's the likelihood a national championship would be in your playing cards? I mean, it's got to be good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, the big thing, if, if this football team can run the table and, you know, be 12-0. and 0, And hope somebody um, falls. It, well, it's, it's, you know, hope somebody falls. But, but with this year's football team, mm -hmm. uh, I don't see how an undefeated Ohio State mm -hmm. football team stays out of the national title game. Uh, most importantly, and the number one reason being, you're going to be talking about a team that's won 25 straight games at that yeah. point. It's yeah. hard to keep it's them true. out. Yeah. All I can say is there will be nothing like that 2002 experience yeah. being in the sure. stands. Oh, my gosh. Well, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully there's something <laughs> just like it again this year. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, I like really that. true. Exactly. Well, it's a lot of fun. And we'll check out Huddle Pass. You can mm -hmm. do that, too. We put a link to Huddle Pass. Go to myfox28columbus.com. Just click on News Links, and you, too, can participate in the Buckeye season that way with the help of some experts right here. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Go Bucks.